what it is, what it do, guys. My name is Zach Jones, and this is Long Way to Go, and I'm coming to you this morning from Fort Williams, Scotland. So, currently walking through town, filling up the water pouches. Gonna be hiking in the Loch Lomond National Park region today. I think we're gonna be trying to do a waterfall and one of uh, the hike called Conic Hill. I'm currently walking through Fort Williams because the water fill station was at the other side of town. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful little town along one of the many locks here in Scotland. And this is where we stayed the night last night um, in the camper van. So today is our last full day in Scotland. So tonight we're going to be heading down to Glasgow. Unfortunately, I don't think we have enough time to really explore Glasgow. But, you know, this trip was really meant to focus on the Isle of Skye. So I'm definitely probably going to have to come back and finish up Glasgow at another date. So I'm um, going to keep moving. We'll get to the car and then we'll move on from here. We are here at our first spot this morning, Falls of Phallic. Boom. This is a uh, proper waterfall, as they say. Um, kind of imagined the fairy pools to be this big, but of course it's not to be. Um, still worth visiting, the fairy pools, but this is definitely a proper waterfall, really beautiful. Apparently it's a cliff jump as well, so. What is up folks? So we are in Balmahas and it's just outside of Glasgow and we are doing the Conic Hill hike in this beautiful, pristine, no it's not, it's definitely man-made man, man or man-managed at least. Uh, but anyways, doing a quick hike before we finish off our Scotland trip. Um, this one should take about two hours or so and gives you a whole view of the lock the cool part about Balmahas is that it is just past the line from Highlands to Lowlands. So it's right in this pivotal location and on the edge of Loch Lomond National Park. Way there, it's a little bit more to the top. Officially, the summit. Alright folks, this was a really good hike. 
I will say, maybe it's just after the past three days of killing a bunch of miles, um, or the, really the past week if we're counting Edinburgh, <laughs> but we're ending the hike with a bunch of flies in our hair due to all the cow poop <laughs> and due to the sheep poop on the mountain. So it's a bit of a travesty on our way out. Um, I will say this hike is a good hike, but at the same time, I could do without the cow poop. I think that you have some potentially other better options. It's also 50p to go to the bathroom. So the view is worth it, but I don't know about the other factors. All right, folks, I'm having my first bit of haggis. Okay, now it's not the most traditional. It's not loose haggis. It is in a toasty. I, I had to intro myself to it. Um, Haggis is basically the contents of like a sheep stomach or the sheep stomach. So it is a little over the edge, but um, I figured it's the last day in Scotland or the last full day in Scotland. So I had to finish it and try it out. So here goes nothing. <laughs> Low key pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to hate it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure if your taste is good. Me is vegan, so it makes sense that you'd feel that way. Baby, so baby, don't worry, you'll be gone there, you'll be alone there, even if this flag is falling down. So come on, slap on me, as we make a great escape. Baby, so baby, don't worry, you'll be gone there, you'll be alone there. What is up folks? So we've made it to Glasgow. It's a bit later in the evening. We had a bit of a walk around town. Glasgow is a very interesting place thus far. Um, I mean, it's Saturday night. Uh, we're not really going out. We're cooking, trying to use the last bit of our food before we head to Ireland. We had a crazy ordeal with a ticket uh, with the ferry, but it's sorted. Um, we thought we booked it, didn't book it, but now we booked it, so we're straight. Um, we are here in a car park stealth camping i suppose kind of not because we're cooking so we are making some food here we got some of the green and then we're gonna make some sandwiches for tomorrow and we're going to get, make some oats for me as day old oats yeah. and then um yeah that's kind of the plan for the evening so just figured i'd show you guys us stealth cooking in a parking lot here in glasgow we can see we got all our stuff we got the windows up and then this is the car park just to give you guys some idea what this is like so we're stealthily but not so stealthily cooking here so i'll show you guys the completed meal once we are done all right folks here is the finished product pretty good do you want nandos sure hit me with some nandos boom Hi. Got some Nando's Peri Peri sauce on some noodles. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> we just had a situation because we're kind of, we're staying really near the center of Glasgow and right next to a police station. But in the car park we're in, this security guy came over. It was really nice and just let us know that like the corner we were staying is where the homeless people like to stay. Um, gonna get into the meal, but it was nice to meet someone that was local and super informational and super helpful. So. All right, folks, this is our first time getting gas. We're about to turn the car in. This car is diesel. Let's see what the pain is on the diesel. All right, here we go, folks. Here's our finished damage.
what it is, what it do, guys. So I am back here in Glasgow after dropping off Percy the camper van in Paisley. And right now I am sitting in Roots and Magic Cafe. So now we're here at the cafe. We just kind of stumbled upon it and really it's a Harry Potter cafe. And um, I got a butter, basically a butter beer um, and a gillyweed, which is a basically everything bagel with salmon. And it's just like super cute and it's a bunch of different Harry Potter kind of memorabilia throughout the uh, cafe. So we're doing this. Uh, we dropped our bags off this morning at the bus station and we're able to check those bags in. Um, to some lockers, and so we're able to walk around the city freely. So we have from about 12 to 3.30 that we're going to be able to uh, meander about and see what Glasgow has to offer. What is up guys? So I'm here on the ferry in the south of Scotland heading to Belfast. So I'm closing out my time here in Scotland. Scotland has been a wonderful country. It's really blown me away. I know myself and Mia have had a wonderful trip from Edinburgh to Inverness, to the Isle of Skye, to Glasgow, and everything in between. Again, thanks so much for following my journey. Please follow my social media. Please like, subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it helps me know that you guys are enjoying the content I'm making. And please feel free to leave comments if I didn't cover anything that you had questions about. Again, my name is Zach Jones. This is Long Way to Go, and I'll see you in the next video.